So welcome folks, welcome back to the channel. As you probably can see, I'm on my boat and no fishing today. But what we are doing today is we're gonna install a new VHF and AIS receiving radio. And there it is. I have gone for the Raymarine RAY or RAY 73. So it's a VHF, as I said, with a built-in AIS AIS receiver and I contacted Ray Marine and asked them what unit they would recommend and that's the one they did recommend for, for my application. Um, so that's what I've gone for. I've got a Navico uh, VHF and IS receiver already but I wanted to update it. I don't know the age of it. It was with the boat some five years ago I believe so I'm guessing it's around the 10 years old, something like that, maybe more, who knows. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and fit this today, but I thought we'd just do a quick uh, unboxing reveal um, and see what's in the box, what you get. So let's open it up and see what we got. So, uh, like any good manufacturing company, a nice booklet to uh, help you through with all the instructions and guides and uh, no doubt some troubleshooting stuff in there if you do have a bit of troubleshooting. Let's just open that up as well. And some handy little serial stickers, particularly handy if you uh, want it for insurance purposes or you want to keep the insurance numbers at home just in case you do have a, a theft on board of, of like. And oh, actually, extended warranty upgrade two to three years for free. I should take advantage of that, that's for sure. Make sure I fill that in. Um, uh, and there we go. Put your serial number on there. So I should use the sticker, put it on there. Got it all together then. And I'll, I'll put it with all my other boating stuff that I've got. Um, a template, which is very handy. You need obviously need a template if you're going to flush mount it. So there we go. Um, I am going to flush mount this. Um, you probably can just see there is my radio. You can't quite see the radio, but you can see the handset. Um, manuals and software. So QI code, great. Uh, what else have we got? Getting started. A quick, quick base. Um, quick start so um yeah nice and easy and then uh some important information which talks about your mssi number as well so we have got to put our or my mssi number in and the last but least looks like a, a nice spongy back and pad uh for when you flush mount so we'll have a look at that later on so that's in, in the, the first portion. Um, it's nice and neatly uh, boxed in, so it's not gonna go anywhere, so that's quite nice. First out there after that is the handset. Quite a nice long lead. So you, plenty of enough of what I need anyway, for sure. That obviously screws in, pushes in and screws in, into the actual VHF unit. So we'll talk about that a bit later on and the functions of that. Um, let's get the actual unit out, shall we? So just a matter of prising it out. There we go. And there it is. There's the cover. It's a rubber cover, just pops off. Like so, and there we go. There's the unit. And let's have a look. So if you undo that cut there, that's where your mic can go into. And also there is a, a place for it to go in the back. Um, if you wanted to put your mic somewhere else within the boat, not necessary with the, the actual main unit. Um, we can talk about that in a bit later on. As I said, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna flush mount it and I'm gonna put the mic at the very front. So we don't need that back portion. Nice cover, nice rubber cover, which uh, Raymarine do now. 
all my units have the rubber um, cover. It's certainly nice for protecting it, easy to fit on. There we go. Uh, the back of it, black and red cables for your power and earth. Numerous cables for doing your um, linking up to your GPS and other devices. So uh, ME0183, I think it is, and 2000. Um, a cap there to take off, or to put your aerial in, I should say. That's, that's where your aerial goes. Um, and also there's another cable here for, I believe it's external, external mic that one as well if I remember rightly um, so there's the base unit there this also is capable of doing external uh, hailer uh, foghorn type thing so if you want to say um, do an instruction for someone outside you can uh, use the normal handset and say what you got to say and it will come out from external hailer um, from the from the boat which is handy because sometimes in the on this boat when we, you're mooring up and the engine's runny there's a lot going on the person in the front of the boat with the mooring line can't always hear your instruction so that's one of the reasons i brought this as well for the additional that you can have the hailer to uh, give instructions to um, your crew outside the boat so there's that so let's put that aside put that down let's pull out the actual bit more of the cardboard here as well, put that aside. It's a bit more cardboard. Um, and then we've got a bracket that fits to the radio um, if you're going to mount it on a, on a top of some sort, surface of some sort. Um, I'm not going to be using that, as I said, I'm going to be flush mounted, but it's there. Um, let's look what else we've got in here. Um, by the look of it, we've got the twist knobs that goes for the clamp. So we've got two of those. So let's get one of those out. And there we go, fairly quite decent size. This was nice, you know. When you've got big shovel hands sometimes, it, you know, small things trying to grab and turn can be a bit difficult. So that's quite nice, nice and easy to grab hold of if, um, if you're gonna need those. Um, in here is some just sort of covers. So there's the cover that goes over the actual aerial, just like a rubber boot basically. Uh, so let's put that, and you've got your mic holder for resting your mic on. So there it goes, it just fits like that, and then obviously holds it like that. So that's uh, in the packaging, and there's a few more bits and pieces in here. Various mounting screws, stainless steel, and we have a, a data cable. Um, if you're going to use this cable for linking into your backbone, uh, Raymarine uh, Raynet backbone, um, for my radio to my GPS and where all my backbone stuff is, is going to take some cable routing basically. Um, I'm deciding I'm not going to rig it into uh, my backbone at this stage. I may do later on, but at this stage I'm not going to go into that because there's quite a lot of routing to do and I just don't want to be tearing the boat up just to get it in, basically. Uh, so that can link into your, uh, Ray, uh, your uh, Raymarine um, backbone and then obviously you can adjust volume, uh, sorry, adjust brightnesses this, with this as well. On all your on all your sets and GPSs as well. So, if you got you know going away at, at night time and you want to adjust your your uh, GPS, you can swipe down the brightness and it also will um, control that and bring the brightness down on that as well, which is handy. You know, uh, using one unit to do everything you needed to do for all your other units like brightness. But we're not going to do that. I'm, I'm quite happy where it's going to sit and I can just go up there and turn the brightness down manually sort of thing on, on that unit as and when I need to. And to normally I don't need to turn the brightness down because it's quite a way up. Uh, so it doesn't affect my line of vision um, for when you're, when you're uh, going along at night. So no, no real glare. 
Um, so that is it. That is what's in the box. And we are going to go and fit this and install it. And uh, we're going to do that next. And, and uh, hopefully it will be a simple job to, to pull my old one out. Maybe some a little adjustment for the actual uh, sleeving in the hole for the actual fitting of the unit. I'm, I'm guessing that it's not going to go straight in. It's a different radio, so no doubt the, the hole will be slightly different. But hopefully no bother and uh, we'll get it in there and it'll be all good. And we'll get it all powered up. And then we'll talk about some of the functions it, some, it has and it can do, and if it may fit your needs. And it certainly fits my needs from what I've read about it. So let's get it installed. <laughs> 